Hi everyone, Philippa Thornton, a director and founder of the Resource Therapy Institute Australia. Welcome. Today I want to talk to you about the seven signs of PTSD. Now PTSD is what we call a, a mental health condition. It's post-traumatic stress disorder. And post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, uh, occurs can occur when someone witnesses or experiences a really terrifying event where your life is threatened or you've seen someone else hurt. Uh, in the instance, it could be a car accident, it could be a robbery. Um, it could be just a one-off or there could be many episodes. Uh, childhood, emotional and physical or sexual abuse can also cause complex PTSD. So the seven signs. Number one is isolation yeah i know that's strange isn't it but withdrawing and hibernating of course because it's a safe environment so people isolate number two is lack of concentration because your fight or flight system's on and your adrenal pathways your hpa axis is going out of control your ability to focus and concentrate can be lost Number three, which is probably the most common that we've heard of, is flashbacks. Now, flashbacks can be physical, they can be emotional, uh, and yeah, the, or, or visual even, where we're just kind of trapped in that moment where our bodies are, our amygdala is switched back on, and we're re experiencing that in the present day, even though it's in the past. Number four, four is intense anger or rage or irritability because it's a stressful event so we uh, can be intensely uh, irritable number five is hypervigilance that's where i am on the lookout watching keeping myself safe of course we know our cortisol levels will be really up our adrenal pathways and, and our bodies like this and as a result of all this it leads to number six physical illness our immune system is is lowered our body in constant amounts of stress um, isn't able to release so bodies can tighten physical illness uh, in any type of form it could be nausea vomiting chest tightness that sort of thing which often can lead to another offshoot of anxiety and that's panic a panic attacks or panic disorder where we think we're going to have a heart attack really frightening and um, but where there's no actual physical cause uh, but that can be a result of PTSD and, and number seven really I'm putting them together as depression and anxiety as a result you know it's uh, not unusual to feel the effects of depression and anxiety coming around that so that's where therapy can help uh, the one I use is resource therapy because tackling that trauma allowing your body to switch off and, and reset in a way because we need to access that emotional part of your brain where it's locked in and deal with those seven signs of um, uh, PTSD. Hope that helps. I'll, I'll be giving you more information on that later. Bye for now. If uh, you, you uh, have an experience of PTSD or want any more information, please drop a comment in the box below. Love to hear your thoughts and reflections and you're welcome to pass this information on to help others. Thank you. Bye for now.